All right, so here we have the Impact POB 200 photo booth. Unboxing and first thoughts, and it's only available at B&H Photo. I first want to start by saying that this item was provided by the Gratis Group. Now, the first thing you're going to notice, it comes with a nice carrying case for easy transportation. Now, let's take a look at what's inside this packaging. One of the four included power adapters. Each power adapter can power up to two LED strips has an on and off switch and you'll see the dongles at the end that you can use to daisy chain those strips which I'll show you a little bit later. Now these are the plastic mounting clips and assembly clips. Everything here is very lightweight with the total package just weighing under 18 pounds. Now this item here comes with a one year limited warranty. You'll notice inside with the diagram it tells you how to put everything together and what's included. And you first look at it, you may be intimidated due to the size, especially if you're in a smaller space. But as you'll see shortly, it's very easy to put together and pretty straightforward. Now, let's undo these Velcro straps and let's see what's inside. Now, these are the LED strips here. Each LED strip has 60 LEDs with a luminance value of 13,000. The color temperature is 5,500 Kelvin and a CRI of 92. You receive eight total LED strips. These are the poles that's included to assemble the frame. This is an included white vinyl backdrop that you can use as an option if you don't want to stick with the internal reflective surface. This is the plastic corner connector and poles for one part of the section. Now keep in mind everything is labeled. Everything goes together. You have things labeled by letters. As you can see all you have to do is twist the matching sections together. Now this portion that you're looking at is actually the base or the top. Everything is equivalent, so you want to make two of everything. This first one is the W's and the D's. So the W is the W1, and it interlocks with the W2, and that will be the front portion and the rear portion. And on the sides would be a D1 and a D2 on each side. The next thing you want to do is lay the base down. Make sure you have all the connectors on each corner. These four assembled poles are the eight sections of each corner of the photo booth. Now you have H1, H2, H3, and H4, and as you put them in the interlocking plastic corner pieces, you'll see how it stands tall now. Now you have a base on the bottom and a base on the top, and you have the four assembly poles in each corner. Now you're starting to see what the frame looks like. This is with the fabric laid out. Uh, I'll show a diagram so you can kind of see how you lay it out. It's just pretty self-explanatory. Once you have it unraveled and you can see it on the floor, you just slide it underneath, wrap this over top, and it kind of goes over that fold in the corner, as you'll see in a second, and it just lays over. And after this is very easy as a zipper and you just zip it all the way up. And it can be a little tricky to do this with one person, so you might want another person with you. And as you'll see here, you see the diffusion flaps. You'll have some of those that are included. And basically, depending on where you put the LED strips, you can have those internal flaps go over the LEDs for some diffusion. Now, even if they recommend to put the LEDs in a certain or particular part of the pole, you really can put it wherever you choose to. As long as you follow the included safety guidelines, you're pretty much free to do whatever you choose. Now, with the booth assembled, you're looking at approximately six and a half feet tall, four and a half feet wide and two and a half feet deep. It's definitely large enough for a person or an adult to stand inside of the booth and takes headshot sitting or standing. It's definitely big enough for a small object to a large object as well. Now you can use this two ways. You can use it with the reflective surface that comes with it or you can add the optional vinyl backdrop that's included as well. This pole right here is a hanger pole which is a two section pole that you twist together like the other ones. Very easy and simple in design. Now you can use this to hang apparel or any other thing that you can think of. Uh, for example purposes or demonstration purposes, I just grabbed the shirt really quick and I hung it up just to give you an idea. So if I was actually shooting that apparel, I wouldn't set it up exactly like that. But for demonstration purposes, I just wanted to show you what you could do and you can take it a little bit further if you were gonna shoot something like that. Now with that being said, as I said before, you can put a full size adult in here, a standing or sitting, and that definitely makes a lot of room or enough room for a smaller to medium to larger size apparel to even product. Now, personally, I think this is great for an online store or a person providing something for even eBay or Craigslist. And that could be eBay for personal items or actual eBay store that you need quick items for quick and simple, consistent looking images. And I think this would be great for that. Now, you can pack this away. I personally found in a smaller space, you might want to have this up all the time. If you have the convenience to be able to take this down every time, I mean, I guess 
you can do that. But for me, I would probably rather have it left up all the time unless you needed to take it somewhere. Now, even for professionals, you can still use this as well. You can use this at an office if you have the room to put it together. You could take it with you. You can leave it on location, off location. I think it could work for a solution for headshots or even smaller to larger products in a location as well. So I would personally find myself wanting to use this more for a quick solution for posting apparel or medium to larger items for especially like an online type of store or that type of look. Now, these are just recommendations. There really is no rule besides the safety guidelines that you should follow, uh, but you can use it however you see fit from the diffusion panels to where you want to place the LED panels to where you want to put anything in this item, whether you can hang up your own backdrop somehow, whether you want to hang apparel or how you want to hang whatever it is you want from the apparel rod. It's really up to you. And that's the great thing about it. So do I recommend this item? Personally, I say yes if you're in need of something such as this item. If you look online at any other retailer and look for a, just a specific type or generic type of photo booth, you could find this price range easily in the smaller to medium size quality photo booths. Um, if you're only into very small products, maybe this is a little bit overkill, but if you're into medium or larger size items or even a person or apparel especially, I think this is a great buy and a good bargain because you don't have to use it just for one particular type of shoot. You can be creative with it and and use it however you see fit. The price is fair, the quality of the lights, the CRI rating is very good, the assembly is easy, it is lightweight. So this was put together in a pretty small space considering the dimensions of this particular item. And also considering the surrounding things that were around, it was a pretty tight fit, but it does work in small spaces. Now with that being said, I still recommend about two people to put it together because the height of being six and a half feet is not that things are heavy, but it just can be a little difficult to maneuver unless you have some kind of step stool or somebody holding it or helping you with the other side of it putting it together much easier. Now, if you need to travel with it, go to an office, basically on or off location jobs or gigs, uh, events, uh, I think it's fine to take it apart and put it back together. Me personally, I would recommend if you had a space for it, a corner, even though it is kind of large, it can easily fit in a corner. And if you're using it for like an online store of some sort of apparel to products, you're more than likely using it pretty consistently anyway. I would probably recommend leaving it up and using it and taking it down as you need to take it somewhere else. I think that's kind of the better option than taking it down, reassembling it back and forth multiple times during the week or, or the day. That can be a bit of a hassle. Uh, that's just my opinion. You can do it however you see fit, but that's just my recommendation personally. I also think this would be great for somebody who wants to do something like a simple shoot such as passport photos where you don't need complicated studio lightings or even a studio space and if you have a studio space this would be great for something on the side where you don't need to set everything up If this was helpful at all, please hit like and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification icon to get future updates on future videos or visit www.howtoandreviews.com. Till next time.